in the world could I make people or get people to understand that I'm not a doomsday speaker, that I'm a positive person. I have to be to do this. This is Larry West again, and and uh, I, people don't want to hear about bad things that may be coming. They just, they reject it. They will not accept it. Well, my friends, that's okay for the moment. But what about when it happens? And it's going to happen according to the Bible and the, all the prophecies. Most all prophecies have been fulfilled uh, up until the last one, which is the uh, which is when the Jewish people returned and had their own nation again for several thousand years, actually. And uh, in, in, in 1948, that happened after the Holocaust and all that business going on over there. But, uh, folks, there's things going on uh, around here, uh, in, around the world, not just here. But there's things going on. You, you, there's Matthew 24 explains most all of these things that's happening. That's Jesus' words himself. Uh, we've got uh, you got weather doing things that it has never done before. Uh, you've got earthquakes like they've never been before. Uh, but probably the most definite thing is a, is the people. Uh, all this shooting up schools and shooting up malls and just shooting people, killing them for no reason at all. There's no value for life. It has nothing to do with guns. Uh, if you take every, if you could take all the guns away from everybody, which you can, if you took the guns away, you'd just be taken away from the. Uh, from the honest people and the bad people still going to have them, still going to use them. Uh, but and I'm not, I'm not trying to be a, a gun freak here. I'm not trying to uh, take guns. I'm not trying to give people guns. I'm just trying to tell you that the tr that the problem is not in guns or not in pocket knives, and it's not in clubs. It's inside the people's head and heart. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. A lot of people will believe in God, but they won't believe and trust in Jesus Christ. And that's what's really bad right there. Uh, I had uh, my daughter a few years ago, and I, and I love her dearly. And um, she, we all have issues, and she was going through one of those. And uh, she called me, and I prayed prayed with her, and uh, and that issue got settled. It wasn't long until she called me again. And uh, and I tried to explain to her that, that God is not a, a getting place. It's, it's not somewhere you go to you go to get something and then forget him after you're gone. And, um, but I brought it up again about, about God and, and that, uh, where, the, where her answer lied. And, um, man, the words that came from her mouth, it just, it just, tore me apart uh, and, and it's hard for me to get them out of my mouth but I'm going to tell you she said dad I don't want to hear about that God and Jesus blank uh, I need something real well folks I don't know how you can get any more real than God and Jesus I just don't know I wouldn't want to live an hour on the face of this earth without him he is my strength. He's my fortitude. He's my answer to all issues, problems. Um, and if I die, if I do, and I will one of these days, uh, man, I, it's not going to be a bad thing to me. It's just going to be a step home is what it's going to be. Uh, again, I'm not trying to get everybody to dobber down. I'm not trying to get everybody to think negative. That's not the answer. If I did that, I would be doing it for all the wrong reasons. But what I am doing, or what I'm trying to get accomplished here, is for you guys to understand. And when I say you guys, I mean, I'm talking to a whole 
lot more of you than you think I am. Uh, what we're trying to get accomplished here is for you to understand that things are good. Uh, now, it ain't got anything to do with the economy. It don't have anything to do with politics. It don't have anything to do with elections. It don't have anything to do with anything or anybody on the face of this earth except those that are spirit-filled with Jesus Christ. Now, folks, the next major uh, prophecy will be the rapture, I'm going to say, of God's church. Uh, and the, the King James Version calls it, uh, he's going to come to, uh, to uh, collect his own or to receive his own. Um, and and folks, that's what it's going to be. Now, who are those people going to be? Well, I can't tell you. I don't know. But I can tell you this. It's not the question of what i got to do to be there. The question is, is what do you have to do to not be left here? Now, my friends, Jesus paid a terrible, terrible price. I mean, it, it, it wasn't just a killing. It was a, it was a, a he was tortured, beat, spit on, talked about. And these people that were doing it to him was the so-called church of that day. Uh, in fact, I, I personally believe that the Catholic church today uh, is part of that church. They just could not accept him, Jesus Christ, as Lord. Uh, they, they believed in God, and they still do. But, and they'll tell you they believe in Jesus, and they probably do. But they don't believe, they don't take him literally. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't place the world around him. Um, he's just, a, he's just a, a figurehead up there. And uh, and that's not just a Catholic church, by the way. There's lots of lots of people. Uh, Bible calls them false prophets. And um, if you take anything, anything at all, away from the Word of God, the way it's written and spoken, you're you're doing wrong. You're you're missing the boat. My friends, he paid the price. Understand that. He paid the price for all your sins and rottenness, and mine too, by the way. I got enough for four or five of you, probably. But uh, but he he paid that price. You don't have to worry about that any longer if you'll just accept him. But you have to accept him, folks. Just got to do that. Um, you say, well, I don't have to do that. I'm my own man. I would make my own way with my own money. I'm, I, 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 I. Well, you're nothing. Uh, and I'm not saying that to take anything away from you by any means. But my friends, if you take a breath of air, guess where it comes from? You get a drink of water, guess where that came from? And you take those two away and see how long I, 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 I exist. The food you eat, the clothes you wear, uh, the shame you feel when you don't have clothes in the right place on. Uh, and these people that go around naked, especially the ladies, uh, man, that's an abomination to God. That's an, I, I don't know why you do that. I, I I, I do know it's to attract attention, uh, and it does. But man, the attention you draw is worthless. All it will do is bring you a whole. It'll it'll harbor a truckload of sins. Sins chase things like that. Uh, any sin. Uh, let's take abortion. Okay, so it's your body. It's your choice. Well. It's not your body, and it's not your choice. You had nothing to do with creating that person inside of you. Nothing. The only person that can give life is God and Jesus Christ. Uh, now, 
you have rights, but where your rights are is before you take your clothes off. you got a right and a choice then, yes, you do. And that's one you will have to answer for someday. And if you have your kid murdered or your child murdered uh, or aborted, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing, then you will have to answer for that as well. Uh, it, and man, they just, there's just a ton of little things that, uh, you know, everybody wants to say, boy, I just wish it would get back to normal. I, I, someday it's going to get back to normal. My friends, normal is what got us to where we are today. And it's going to get worse. Uh, I, I, I promise you that by the Word of God. It's not going to get better. It's going to continue getting worse. These storms and, 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 and strange weather is going to get worse. They're going to be earthquakes in diverse places. The Bible speaks about that. Uh, people are going to be more hate, uh, hateful towards each other. There's going to be more murders. Uh, now, you haven't seen anything until this rapture of the church or God's people that I mentioned earlier. Just wait till that's over. Now, here's a really sad part about that. When when that happens, uh, what's going to be the going to be a great influx of of, uh, of of all every lie you can think of of the people's left on this earth? Because you see, not only is the Christians going to be taken, but also the Holy Spirit. The only thing left will be the Word of God. One of them old dusty Bibles, you can find one of them laying around, I'm sure, on, after the rapture. Food is going to be near impossible to come by. Uh, you will be killed probably for a loaf of bread. Uh, it, it, there's nothing ever happened in this world that's going to be bad. And, that's, and then that's going to be about the middle way through the seven-year tribulation. First three and a half years, well, that's going to be bad, but you ain't seen nothing until that second. When that, uh, when this uh, false prophet, now let me tell you something, this guy is going to be so great that the world thinks that he is, in fact, Jesus Christ. And they're just, they're just, they're going to worship him. They're going to, this church, uh, and I believe again, it will be the Catholic church. Uh, that'll be promoting him. I think the uh, I think the Pope will be. Um, I think he'll be the false prophet, the one that the Bible speaks about. Uh, and again, I'm not slamming Catholic Church, but I am telling you the truth about Jesus Christ and what he expects and what and what he says, and that's what counts. And what I think don't matter anyhow. But, but. Once the once the rapture happens, then lawlessness will be abound. It'll be everywhere. Uh, you had never been cheated till you see what happens after that. Now this is providing that you make it through the 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 pre-rapture and also the rapture. If you make it through that. Uh, it, I don't know how to describe how bad it's going to be. If you read a book of Revelation, it'll describe it in a way that nobody on this earth can. But and it's not going to make sense. But it's going to that that, 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 that God's going to turn His wrath loose uh, when this when this uh, Antichrist stands on the Temple Mount, ten, Temple floor there, and He's going to shout out to everybody. He's going to tell everybody that. In fact, he is Jesus Christ. But everybody's going to already believe it anyhow <clears throat> because he's going to be able to work miracles just like Jesus did. Uh, he'll bring fire from heaven. This is according to the Bible. Um, he'll be able to pull everything that you can imagine and he will be a convincing person. And he's going to make you believe it. All you have to do is just worship him and I am the Messiah. That's what you're going to hear from him. 
And, uh, but that's not the case, folks. He is here to steal and lie to you and take away from you and everything that you are. Uh, it don't have anything to do with what you have because you're not going to have anything. Uh, if you've got a bank full of money now, boy, you better enjoy it. But I'm going to tell you something. When that rapture happens, it's going to be worthless to you. There's going to be a one-world monetary system. That's written. That's not my guess. That's written. Uh, there's going to be a one-world government. It's coming soon. I think, we, I think you can see that if you got eyes. There's going to be a one-world religion. I think it's going to be the Catholic uh, religion, I, I believe. Uh, it's just going to be, boy, man, uh, just read, read it, read it in the book of Revelation, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And, uh, real briefly, let me tell you about Revelation. Uh, that was the Apostle John. Uh, he'd been exiled for preaching the name of Jesus, and, uh, and he was sent to what they call the Isle of Patmos. And uh, while he was there, he wrote the book of Revelation. God told him to write in a book these things I'm going to tell you. And folks, it's as clear as a bell. And it, you can see it happening daily. I mean, it's not new. You can see it happening daily. People murdering, running over you on the highway, uh, run cutting you off, uh, uh, careless, uh, couldn't care less about you, man. You can land road with your guts rotting out, and a very few people would stop and help you. And I don't blame them because they're afraid to. Uh, and all these homeless people you see sitting on every street corner. Now we're instructed to help people, and I want to, but man, I'm scared. To, I'm scared to stop and try to help anybody. If I see somebody land dead in the road, I'm gonna look it over real good before I offer to help them. I, I will. But you don't know who's coming out of the bushes on the other side of the road to get you. Well, enough about that. Uh, and I'm not meaning to harp, but folks, it's real. It is so real. Uh, wake up, please. Uh, not, I'm, not, I'm not begging. Not my place to beg. I'm not hammering you. It's not my place to do that. But it is my duty to make you aware what you do with it is up to you. And I want you to know that. And I'm going to tell you something. If I didn't love you, I would not be doing this. If you think it's funny or fun, you ought to try it sometime. Because what happens when you start preaching the Word of God and telling people about Jesus Christ and what He does, what He's done for them, they laugh at you. They make fun of you. They'll tell you how crazy you are. They won't speak to you. And I'm not talking about total strangers. I'm talking about kids. I'm talking about your own children. Uh, I'm talking about your own brothers. I'm talking about your uncles and aunts. And uh, all them friends, all your drinking buddies you used to have, kiss them by. If you accept Jesus Christ, and that is the hope, by the way, is the fact that Jesus Christ died and paid the price he paid for his persecution and execution uh, is the only hope of eternal peace. Uh, and those that don't accept it, uh, you know, God's not sent them to hell. They're just re re rejecting going to heaven. Well, anyhow, I, I just don't know any other way to make it clearer than that. Uh, I hope you accept it for what it is. Um, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ and you feel like these words are true, man, let me let me let me ask you to send this to people, all people, whether they're born again, whether they're not born again, but it needs to go. And Facebook is going to cut it off. They're, not, they're sending it to maybe 15 or 20 people. Uh, is what they'll send it to. So if you don't send it along. All right, appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. And uh, feel free to give me a call or drop me a line. You can reach me at my website. Uh, it's uh, 
stories and photos.com.